Almost 30 years ago, Nightline senior producer Richard Harris saw an article in the Boston Globe about Maury Schwartz, a retired sociology professor who was dying of ALS. Nightline anchor Ted Koppel signed on and became one of the most popular series of broadcasts in Nightline history, it led to the mega best-selling book Tuesdays with Maury. And now Maury is back in print. His son Rob Schwartz discovered and edited a manuscript his father had written and put away in a drawer. It's called The Wisdom of Maury. I spoke to Rob last week. Tonight, conversations with Maury. Lessons on living. Just who is Maury Schwartz? We first came to know Maury Schwartz nearly 30 years ago. And why, by the end of the night, are so many of you going to care about him? Because I think I have some things to offer the world. He introduced your dad to the world, really, by asking him, who is Maury Schwartz? Let me ask you that question. Who was Maury Schwartz? Wow. <laughs> um, well, he was a very loving and thoughtful man who had a lot of ideas about how to improve people's lives and what blocks them from being happy. It was March 17th, 1995, when ABC's Nightline aired the first of three conversations between Ted Koppel and a retired sociology professor in Massachusetts who was dying of ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Some mornings I'm angry and bitter, but it doesn't last too long. Then I get up and say, I want to live. So I have to cry and I have to mourn, but I also have to enjoy the life I have left. Over several months, we watched and listened as a man nearing the end of his life taught us how to live. This culture is so stuck on death in terms of its fear, hiding it, not knowing what to do with it, that what I'm saying is an alternative way of looking at it. One of those viewers, Mitch Album, a former student, began visiting his old professor every Tuesday until Maury died. If you were to synthesize Maury's message in a line or two, it would be what? Death ends a life, but not a relationship. I have a little aphorism. Don't let go too soon, but don't hang on too long. Find the balance. Published in 1997, Maury Schwartz didn't live to see the worldwide success of the best-selling memoir that bore his name, Tuesdays with Maury. It sold over 18 million copies and counting. He had already given the world so much in that book, Tuesdays with Maury, but this was actually a book that he wrote before any of that came out. That's right. This book was written, he started in 1988 and he finished it in 1992. It was really his, his thoughts about life and really in-depth dive into how he wanted to approach aging. He thought it could be helpful for other people to approach aging and just in general living creatively, vibrantly and joyously. Now the man whose voice continues to inspire so many is back in a new book, The Wisdom of Maury, edited by his son Rob. It's an original manuscript written by Maury before he became ill. It was sitting in a drawer in my father's study. My mother kept the house after he passed away and one day I just pulled open the drawer and I found the manuscript and it all came rushing back to me because I had talked to him a lot about this book while he was working on it. And it, it was kind of stunning to me to find this manuscript and r realize that it had never been published. And now, you know, we might have an opportunity to get it that done. As you first went through it, what went through your mind? I just hear my father's voice in this book. Talk about it. Keep Don't an open lie. heart. Be compassionate. Open it up. It's so filled with his love of life and his love of people and his connection to humanity. When a person is dying, when I am dying, I don't only have to be taking, I can also be giving. How do you edit your father? Well, uh, that's a great question. Um, I mean, there was a lot of repetition because he wrote it over such a long period of time. But there were some things I had to cut out. I mean, you know, I can't guarantee that everything that I did, he would give the thumbs up to. I would hope so. You describe this as a bookend to Tuesdays with Maury. What does that mean? Tuesdays with Maury is a beautiful book, but it's a very slim volume. It's like an introduction to my father's thought. This is a real deep dive into his thoughts. And, you know, he was a professor of sociology and social psychology, so he has a lot to say about human, what it means to be human and how we can improve our lives. So this is a real deep dive into it compared to Tuesdays with Maury. It's a deep dive, but is it fair to summarize his philosophy in two words? 
stay human? Yeah, I think it is. I mean, you have to explain to people what that means. What does it mean? Well, it means to keep your connection with humanity, and that fundamentally means to keep your connection with other people, whether they're your friends, your family, or people that you don't even know. The problem with this world is we objectify other people, like that person's not like me, they don't believe what I believe, and that, that's you know not the way to go about it. We all have a shared humanity that is the crucial thing that you need to, to connect with. Be compassionate with yourself and with each other. To be loving with yourself, towards yourself, and with others. These teachings have already influenced so many people mm. around the world. What's the new audience you're hoping to reach? My father wrote this book aimed at aging people because he felt that our society was so ageist and that people had internalized these negative emotions about aging. And then he, he outlines ways in which, like real practical day-to-day -day things in which people can do to improve their lives. Bible. Give one. Uh, well, he says laughter, for example. Laughter is incredibly important. You need to have laughter in your life. Find what makes you laugh and indulge in that. What would the human Maury think of all this attention? Oh my God, see, I get that question a lot and it's really funny because the unexpected answer is he would love it. He would <laughs> adore it. He was actually a ham. He loved the spotlight. He would be so happy that not only his ideas are getting some attention, but that people think it's worthwhile to pay attention to him. Take responsibility for yourself and for others. If we learn that lesson, this world would be so much better place, and we would be so much better human beings. Your father once told uh, an interviewer that he wanted his obituary to remember him as a great teacher. Yes. He succeeded, didn't he? I think so. I think so. And, you know, I hope this book continues that teaching. That's one of the exact reasons that we, that we put it out. The disease is not going to get my spirit. No. And yet my body will not get my spirit. You've done good, Maury. Do I get to be one of the angels? Yeah, you'd be, you'd be cute with a pair of wings, Maury. Right. It's almost right. impossible to count the number of lives he has touched. Yes. Oh, and I yeah. love how he said about compassion and responsibility, starting with yourself. Mm -hmm. Before Great it. advice. Yeah. Great advice. The Wisdom of Maury Living and Aging Creatively and Joyfully is out tomorrow. You can see more of the story tonight on Nightline. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.